Excellent. Friends are good. Are you sure this line is clean? This is a Thor News presentation. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. Excellent. Friends are good. It's like a target bullseye. Ooh. Surprised the trippiest, though, right? In today's edition of Weird Space Weather, we got sprites, solar twisters, Shortening near Earth object Earth close approach lists, solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and a whole lot of love. But I don't feel very funny, much to my chagrin. If you can see me right now, I promise you, I'm chagrinning. Shake me down. It's like a target bullseye if guns were 10 times the size of the Earth. How many Earths can we fit in there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Quite a few. It's a big cannon. Filo montage. It's my new scientific word for whenever it looks like the sun has a beard. There was an article at Space Weather the other day saying sun activity is low. And I was like, what? Man, yeah, you guys really need to totally revamp your heliophysics metric measurement because I wouldn't say that solar activity has been low um, at all. Activity is like, you know, like if you got a kid and he played soccer that day and then he went hiking and then he went canoeing and then he played some basketball and then, you know, he played some badminton and then he went bungee jumping and you only counted like bungee jumping and water balloon throwing. And you were like, hey, yeah, that kid was not active at all. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of... Uh, the best analogy I could come with on the spot for how to describe my disagreement with inactivity. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the latest edition of Weird Space Weather. What you're looking at right now is sprites. What are sprites? They're magical sky fairies that dance in the sky and baffle pretty much everybody. This is them right there? This comes from France. La France. Je t'aime le fromage. So we got badass lightning going on over here. And then we got our Spriteys over here. Wouldn't it be weird if they came down and were like, we prefer Cherry Coke. Is that irony? Quick, to the Alanis Morissette phone. We're over at Space Weather now. Storm and Sprite, taken by Patrick Le Curel, September 17th, in the French Pyrenees. Pyrenees are good dogs. They're hairy though. As you can see, the auroras have been crazy. Sun's been freaking out. As you see here, the sun starts out with a double-barreled shotgun. I don't know who's pointing at. Now his barrel split, only to come together into one giant sun cannon. Remember, the sun is the little yellow dot in the middle. Here, I'll stick a sun in there to help you visualize. Bam! That was the big coronal mass ejection that I showed from yesterday. That was the follow-after. I guess the cargo ship that leaves after the queen ship. And this is the one from moments ago. Looks like it went straight up. Now, here's something I found very fascinating. If you remember, I did a video that there were 12 mountain-sized asteroids um, coming by between the 17th of September and the 7th of December, an 89-day span, which to me, I said it was a record. Astromutt said, no, there was one more. I think it was 2012, 2009, 2013, during the same span. But I've got to December 7th. To get one more than it's a tie at least <laughs> anyway um but my thing ended on the 7th and the actual chart went a few days after but i noticed they must have added a lot of asteroids to here because now it ends on december 4th and before i think it ended on like the 10th or the 12th or the 17th so and i definitely see some names i don't recognize like i was trying to be all funny like with them so like I think I remembered Sue 223, you know, or Shh 144. I know I remembered SZ. I, I didn't think any Z words, funny Z words, you know. So I don't have time to do all the math right now. That takes a long, long time. Put all the orbits together. Anyway, so I'm uh, just making that point. 
as we're jumping over quite a few things. I highly recommend coming over to a real time image gallery at spaceweather.com. Pretty awesome. Solar twisters. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nut, nutty from Italy. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Twist and shout. Here we're over at the Stereo Head HI1, where we get the Borg Tesseract Hellraiser Cube. You get Venus sticking her face in the camera. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. Then you get that coronal mass ejection, which is like a blanket of plasma. It's like a whoopee of plasma. Did it go right at Venus? But I mean, if you'll notice, it's just a huge, giant cardboard box of plasma. Maybe that's not the best description. Giant wet towel of plasma. Man, my descriptors are not working. So yeah, giant triangle, Venus, Earth, Tesseract, Universal Blanket. I heart Huckabees. Shania Twain. So I'm just here doing quick updates on the sun because I don't know what planet that is coming over. Coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeah, see the behind camera is just not as interesting. Ooh, I take that back. It's snowing in space. Another giant comet, unseen to the human eye, must have flown into the sun and then exploded. With snow, dirty. Snowball snow. But no, Comet Ison did not break into giant pieces and then spray Cinegen 19 on the planet, causing all these weird Ebolas and viruses and respiratory diseases. No, no, no. That would make you a conspiracy nut think stuff like that it's just snowball everybody knows snowballs are harmless wow yeah that we'll click that one down it seemed to get interesting right about now Ooh, look at that chunk coming off and the sun's like a night bright and it's like i'm bright and i'm really bright and i'm sleepy bright and then i find stuff bright and then you can sleep to me bright and then i'm like oh my god i'm blinding you bright yeah look at that so this just happened pretty much another giant chunk of plasma how's the sun work again <laughs> Okay, like quantum physics, I guess. Takes all these little atoms, squishes them together, and then shoots out chunks of plasma ten times the size of Jupiter. Okay, great. Glad we had this talk. Okay, maybe it's only ten times the size of Earth, but that's still big. And I have gotten it from several sources that the giant prankster that crosses the screen is Earth. So it's a good sign that the Earth is playing games with the sun. That's a giant plasma staff, a giant canyon. But that is what's so trippy is like if you watch after it rips the entire thing ripples magnifico it's like a slow chain reaction see this is part of the giant filaments i was drawing on interesting eh if you'll notice over here at this spot right now looks to be facing dead on us and over here we've got our charcoal camera which is having the biggest problems and is the most malfunctiony of the head cameras it's too bad this one was quite interesting as well. It's almost like a big boomerang right there. See it? Do you see it? I do. Man, and you could just... That's yeah, creepy looking. That's yeah, creepy looking. That's yeah, creepy looking. There's Venus getting camera time on two cameras. Hey, look. The giant chicken has a friend. Excellent. Friends are good. For whatever reason, this camera's never really got any action. Which is interesting. In itself, it's interesting that it's so boring. And that the other one is so fascinating. Ooh, a fleet of black blocks. I zoomed in and out of time. Camera spins around. World is fuzzy. Nothing to see here. Literally. And now we're over at Stereo Headcore 2. And due to its technical difficulties, it's giving us about one-tenth of the photographs that we got from um, Stereo Head, Stereo Behind Core 2. It's okay, 10 is better than none, but I wish we could put these, the two into, together into some type of three-dimensional thing that kind of gave us a better idea of direction and you could 3D around it, kind of like I do on the wind map, so you kind of see it, 3D modeling. Maybe sometime in the future when technology gets better, if of course we don't have mass World War III with Russia anytime soon. But yeah, ahead the sun looks definitely more active, it's got like wings, and it's got like a pointy helmet with wings, and then it shoots its wings off like darts or something. And it's got like a dress bottom. You can go ahead and roll this puppy out. Once again, what is that coil bending up to? 
thought I saw something. Maybe I didn't see nothing. Yeah, what was that? It was like a loopy thing. Weird. Shake me down. Not a lot of people left around. Ooh. -hoo. Surprised the trippiest though, right? It's like a target bullseye. Well, we don't get a date. I woke up this morning at 4.15. The weather god's not happy. No, the world's on the brink of World War III. Man, I don't imagine they are. People are fighting over invisible lines and, and hard definitions of invisible gods. Sacramento. I love lightning. Thunder, too. I highly recommend coming over to a real-time image gallery at spaceweather.com. Pretty awesome. Solar twisters. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nut, nutty from Italy. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Twist and shout. Love will keep us together. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. We rely on each whoa, other. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Excellent. Friends are good.